Hello everybody, welcome back to part 6 of the Tomb Raider playthrough. Continue, load up our campfire save. So last we left off after we found the radio, I think it was a transmitter thing, and we helped Roth heal up. Now, we just unlock, okay so it's making us, okay, so I don't know if it's saved upgrades that I made, so let me make those upgrades again. Okay, it looks like it did save him, actually. Cool. <clears throat> so instead of going up to the objective, like we did previously, what I'm actually going to try to do is go back to that spot where that cave thing was, and we're going to try to explore the tomb that's in there. We should be able to get there pretty quickly here. If I recall, it was just one of these little hill things here. Across some water, a body of water. I think we have to go up here first. Yeah, there we go. We gotta go up here, I think, if I recall correctly. We'll find out soon enough. Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> okay, so that tool should let us climb these kind of walls that we see here. There we go. I wonder how big these tombs are. I can't do that now. And also, I wonder what we find in there. Do we find like some sort of treasure that benefits us within the game, or are we just finding collectible items that are more towards the like achievement side of things? Okay, so it looks like we found a campfire in here. Tomb of the Unworthy, okay. It looks like it takes us out somewhere. There is that other side where we can kind of explore as well. Let me double check what's out here first. Okay, so this might be more of the tomb, actually, so. Okay, so that lets us jump across and hang on these bars. Unless it was erased from the text. There we go. So hopefully we didn't get ourselves trapped in here. We did not. But it looks like we have to get all the way across, right? Which means maybe we just have to go fast enough. There we go. Now from here, what's the next? spot we go to that's a question so it looks like that wall can be climbed on but what's the best approach to get to it it doesn't look like we're gonna reach it this way right I mean I can try to jump at it but it doesn't do anything Oh, maybe we can get rid of these things actually. Now I, I think I know. Let me see. We need to d decrease some of the weight that's weighing it down. There we go. Get rid of these bodies that are hanging here. I would assume it should go up on its own. Because of the lighter weight. That is indeed the case. 
And then I wonder if, if we push this off, now that it's even lighter than it was before, that'll allow it to go even higher, right? We can climb up here real quick. There we go. Got it. Nothing too difficult, but just right, just like good enough to kind of challenge you for a second and then make you feel good when you figure out where you need to go. It actually looks like a trap almost. Like it goes up or something, but it doesn't look like that's the case. We got a skill point. Village relic map found. <clears throat> cool. Guess it's safe to assume that's everything that's in here. It was a pretty quick tomb. I wasn't sure how long it was going to take to go through it, but not very long at all. Let's go back through here and continue on with our objective. I was wondering if we can go down this way, but it does look like we can, but I don't think it really goes anywhere. It's just a extra part of the cave. Looks like there's some kind of a relic nearby, but I don't know if it's inside of here or if it's above ground. It might be above ground, like above this cave. So we'll just continue exiting out of here and we'll figure it out from there. Okay, so I think we can climb this wall right here, which previously we could not. Oops, there we go. That's definitely awesome that it gives us that choice of either slowly climbing it by just like using control, I mean not control, like WASD keys, or if we want to get up there a little faster. We can actually like jump up and then grab one real quick. Let's finish. Let's them. We'll let them finish talking, and hopefully they'll put themselves in a better position for us to kill them. Oh come on, really? I have no idea how that guy spotted us so easily, but there we go. It should be all of them. I didn't see anybody else. But I, I can probably assume that there's going to be more guys inside of these caves or areas near here. Oh. We salvaged a, quite a number of parts there. 380 something like that. It's wild. Looks like we have a few more items over here we can get. But we definitely have an upgrade coming up here next time we reach a campfire. Ooh, and we have a collectible book. I have spoken to some of the That's definitely not the move, we have to jump on top of that box right there. Come on, there we go. Oh, 
Oh, we could have just climbed up that wall right there, too. Didn't even think of that. Let's light that thing up for additional XP real quick. We'll also grab these items here. Thank you. Ah, oh, there we go. We can climb up this way. Bridge looks a little sketchy. Oh, we didn't make it. Oh, that's a rip. I think I jumped too soon, maybe. Or maybe too late, I don't know. Try this again. Okay, yeah, I definitely dropped or uh, jumped too soon there the first time around. Lara, are you there? Reyes, did you find Sam? We're still on her trail. I'm going to try and send an SOS from an old radio tower up here. Any tips? Hey, Lara. You're gonna need to find the communications console. It'll look like a bunch of old switchboards. Okay, I'll let you know when I find it. Hey, wake up, wake up, you got your scooter! Come on, grab her! Please! You don't, you don't need to do this! Oh, shit. I'm not going out there! I killed that dude, he's throwing Maltops at me. At least he's burning in his own molly. Okay. Good enough for me. It's probably how I got so much salvage. Searching these guys. Really adds up. Oh, I didn't set it on fire. Like go too soon. There we go. Anything good in there? That's 30 more. So we just almost get like the same amount out of searching people that we do from those boxes. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, we got a campfire here. Cool. Another video. I'm telling you, Reyes, it's mechanical, not an electrical problem. Now, Alex. <coughs> uh, this looks like it might be a, an electrical problem. You think? <coughs> oh, hello. Hey. Is this little fox, oh, huh? Yeah. He's cute, huh? <laughs> Alicia. Alicia. It's my like daughter. That. Oh. Fourteen years old, and smarter than you'll ever be. She must must get that from her father. Don't give him the attention. And yeah. I'll take a look at this. Probably electrical. From her father. Nice one. So I was on the walk, right? Doing a spot of midnight fishing. Hey, Grim. Time to button down the hatches. I'd be right with you. So I was on the lock, right? And this thing comes looming at me. Looming out of the water it was. So I give her a real Glasgow kiss, you know. <laughs> Get shot of trouble nine times out of ten, that does. Took me a week to sleep that night off. And I've not touched a drop since. See you at dinner, Sam.
right. Can we take B-roll, please? Thank you. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take three, and action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like this. Yeah, you got... Good Lord, cut! 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 Cut. Uh, is, is he coming back? Uh, I'll go get him. World-renowned doctor. The world-renowned archaeologist, fish, Mr. Dr. James Whitman. It's just a fish. It's fine. It's just a gonna fish. Be fine. This damned reality TV business. I'm, I'm meant to be bringing culture to the people, Sam, not dinner. Uh, no offense, Jonah. The audience demands content, Dr. Whitman. You know that. So until we find the Lost Kingdom, we need footage like this. Come on, let's just take it from the top, okay? We're gonna make you look like Gordon Ramsay in editing. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take four, action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like that. I've studied them so much, I can see charts on the back of my eyelids. But if I'm not right about Yamatai being in the Dragon's Triangle... I remember when you found that one, your father's days. You ran up and showed it to me dressed in your penguin pajamas. <laughs> I was five <laughs> years old. It was my first find. Yeah. You've got great instincts, girl. You just have to trust them. Mm. That's what my father used to say. Now, there was a man that ran on instinct. For better or worse. He would have been so proud of you, Lara. We're getting closer to the storm. Well. Yeah. Whatever's coming, we'll get through it, eh? <laughs> okay, Lara, pull yourself together. They're counting on you. Guess we got the new cab. <laughs> Let's uh, use one of our upgrade points here. Oh, we got a new thing unlocked now. Brawler upgrades. Let's increase our maximum health, actually, I guess. I'm sure the game's gonna get a little bit more complicated as we go on, so... Might as well get that increased now. What else do we have here? I don't know if I really need the three round burst though. And the bow is still only two upgrades, right? Yep. I'll probably go for the recoil compensation if anything. And it looks like that allowed us to now get this as well, the muzzle break and rate of fire increase, cool. I'm pretty satisfied with those for now. I'll hold on to the rest of this stuff. I'm sure we'll, it's only like 30 more salvage things that I have left, but I'm sure we'll come across something that's gonna like another weapon or some at some point here, so might as well save it. Hmm. So I'll try to go up ahead a little bit more. See where it takes us to. I missed. There we go. I'm hoping to keep this video under 30 minutes, maybe like 25 minutes max. So we'll go a little bit longer here. What the hell? See if we can get to that tower in this part. If not, that'll be one of the things we're gonna get to in the next part. 
so. That guy welding over here. See, doesn't have to work anymore. I helped him. So I think there might be another guy outside, right? Or is it this guy right here that was yelling that? Okay, so it does look like there's more guys on the ground. Maybe. Come on. Eek. There we go. So he'll probably just burn real quick, and then in the meantime, we're gonna double check what items are over here. Let's think there might be some more ammo. I don't know if we really need more ammo or not. I haven't really been using my pistol too much. Its way into Japanese circulation sometime in the mid 19th century. Okay, so this is a collectible item. Cool. I think it was just an ammo box. Good thing I checked it. I assume we have to climb up there. I'm gonna check this area out some more before I do so. Here we go. Another GPS cache thing. Okay, so we're actually at the tower now, right? Or is that the tower all the way over there? I assume that's the tower actually, so we got a little bit to go then. I might actually... I'll light my torch just in case I need it. Okay, I don't need any more ammo. I, this might actually put my torch out anyway. Okay, so I'm curious if I got a checkpoint here. I don't know how often these checkpoints are, so I'm gonna... And this part here, guys, it looks like we have a little bit to go until we get to that tower, and it probably won't be within the next, like, six or seven minutes. So, in the next part, we'll tackle getting to that tower, and we're doing a SOS transmission. And hopefully it brings us back in the next part right to this spot here. If not, it might be, like, right before we kill those guys. Either way, that's fine with me. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.